All right, Bowserus, you ready for learning? Today, I'm cooking with Tweet. We're gonna make some poor people soup. Of course, I couldn't do it alone. Here, I got my friend Daryl. I'm also poor. And also Drew. Hey, this is my house. And also, Luke's on camera. Hey, yo! All right, you, so, here's what we do for poor people soup. Sometimes, you really wanna make soup, but you have, like, no money. So, using these very cheap ingredients, uh, we're gonna... <laughs> Oh, you're just such a fucking... Here, here's what we're gonna need for this. This is really simple, right? And the best part is some of these ingredients are like, oh man, that cost two dollars at the supermarket. You said this was poor person soup. Don't worry, some of the ingredients can be retracted. All right, so the first step we're gonna need is a pot full of water. Water's heavy. Then we put it on uh, what we like to call the DE. Uh, that's what we call the dual element mm. in uh, <coughs> Drew's house. And then we uh, we turn it on to high, right? While this is heating up, we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit excited with the rest of the stuff. So, first thing you do, you take stock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of the situation. Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> So these stock cubes are like a buck at your local supermarket, <clears throat> uh, if you know where to look. And uh, these have enough flavor in them that two of these babies, maybe three if you want to do like a little taste test and go like, ooh, this could be saltier, mm -hmm. uh, can just go right into your soup and make the perfect broth. Already, you got a great broth, all right? Boom! There goes number one, all right? Number two, you got to do something a little bit more special. You got to sing to it. Drew? It kind of look like gum a little bit. So while that's boiling, right, we're gonna get toiling with the fucking vegetables. Okay, so for this, I got an onion. I cry a lot when I oh, get it. Oh, it's massive. I'm that's the only one onion. in the troop, troop that doesn't wear glasses. This sucks. <laughs> what? I'm gonna enjoy watching this. Luke, you wear gonna... glasses, right? No. Hold on, let's, let's get some, like... <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, you don't. We got some celery. Mm -hmm. We got some carrots. It's really important for poor for people soup. Uh, you don't get uh, the vegetables that like they overpower the senses when they're boiled. You know what I'm saying? They just mm -hmm. add the overall flavor. Right. And you can't. You can also not get baby carrots because those are more expensive than normal carrots. That's true. You're not a real poor person unless you buy the poorest option for the soup. Right. Does anyone have a shaver? Drew took too long, so we're improvising. I found it! No, you didn't. No, it's fine. See? This is how the true chefs do it. I'm Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, thank you. Wah! Did you notice how quickly Drew did this? He's done this before. Uh, Alright, Drew, do this one. It's mangled! What did you do to it? This one's mangled just more professionally. Make sure you buy your carrots Jewish, alright? Get a following shot of this. Get a following shot of this. And do some back. I don't know if it's anti-Semitic to su suggest that Jews have circumcised penises. Okay, I guess. Also Muslims. Uh, they also have Muslims? No. Okay. Wow. Jesus. Right, okay. So now we got two beautifully mangled, uh... Amateur. Alright. <laughs> tracking shot. Whatever. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, gee, this is great, what happened to the soup in the meantime? Well, using this ladle that I'm magically going to get off screen by Drew... Shit, son. Uh, this is the greatest ladle for drinking soup out of, if I may say. <laughs> Alright, this is the greatest ladle for drinking soup out of, may I say. Right, so, you see how it's kind of like, in there, you kind of like, oh, you can see the cubes, but they're still kind of cubes? You just kind of just... Whoa. Right? Now it's a powder. Now it's a powder. And then you mix it up. Oh, and now... You put so much water in there. <laughs> so now that that's a powder, that is going to mix with uh, what we in the business like to call water. And uh, it's going to make a nice broth base. Okay? The Heart of Poor Person Soup is coming soon. Stay tuned after these messages. After these messages, we'll be right back on Disney XD. Wake up! 
because it's time to save the world. Introducing the latest video and computer game from Peak Performance, Spy2K. Select your favorite spy and help their agency to kick Y2K's butt. Wally Walfredo, the malicious mobster. Marshall Palmer, the face of the future. Lee Jin K, the terror from the triads. Paul Williams, the cool corporate crony. Paradox, the hellion hacker. Face off against your friends in a battle to see which corporation comes out on top. Use your agency spies to mess up your friends. Then use your wits to win the day. Crack safes, figure out passwords, defuse bombs, take the prize. Who will emerge victorious? Play Spy 2K today and find out. Spy 2K, talk to the hand, because the face-off starts now. <laughs> You gotta taste to see, like, if it's salty enough. It's not even dissolved yet. <laughs> not fully, but that's okay, okay? This is gonna burn my mouth. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right. Actually, you know what? That's not bad. Yeah, yeah can, we get a, bad. can we get a camera on that? It's Testimonial. It tastes like a, like a cup of soup, chicken noodle soup. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's even so far. I will say, this particular brand actually kind of sucks, because there's no real salt in there. But luckily, um, my man Drew buys salted butter because he's an uncultured fuckwit. So, uh, we're gonna get to... Oh, I've angered the gods. <laughs> the important thing when you're cutting vegetables is to know what you're doing. Hey Paul, could I just... No, Daryl! Yeah, why don't I uh, grab this carrot? Who are you?! <laughs> Ready for a pro tip? Yes. All right, so carrots take the longest to cook. So you want to cut these up first and put them in your poor person soup first. See that? It's beauty. Let's go put these in the soup. Drippings on the oh, carrots before yeah. they go in. Get this, you, you know oh. what you say? You can, Bentley, uh, you know what you say? You can take the uh, you can take the soup to the carrots, but you can't put the carrots in the soup. Well, we defy that here. We're putting the carrots right in the fucking soup. Okay. That is how I do it. All right. That is how I do it. Anything <laughs> cooks uh, in the second most amount of time is the celery. You want to take a look at your celery and just decide arbitrarily. Yeah, that one looks the best for this. Uh, I refer to the man in green. Right on. Uh, well, this one's hanging off, so I mean, it's... it's All right. right. Daryl Dean, everybody. Put a clapping sound effect. Uh, you need another one, man? I feel uh, like yeah, because you chose, you chose maybe, like, the worst one. <laughs> All right, uh, check it. I would probably suggest washing these. Because I do see dirt on the inside. You see that? Check it Look out. it! Nice call, sous chef Daryl. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, Master Chef Whoa. Paul. Something's right. happening over here. This is what we like to call a boil. Now, when this happens, what? Check it. Reduce heat. What is this, Ash Tuesday? <laughs> the power of God compels you. Boom. He's given us a sign. He is risen. I'm gonna add one How more. many diehard Christian fans of Credit Zero do you think there are who are like, man, I really wish you wouldn't joke about Jesus on your cooking show. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, Daryl coming in with the third one. Daryl likes his celery. Daryl's middle name is Celery. Give us some uh, nutritional facts about Celery, Paul. Oh, there's nothing in here. There's nothing nutritional. This is only for taste. Right. Jeez, <laughs> <Jeez>, fuck, man. <laughs> See that? That's how you get injured. Don't ever do that. I have my fingers and I can point at you. Think about that. How many chefs do you know that have all their fingers? Boom, 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 boom. After that, you don't have a lot of fingers to tell the tale. We have to give pay homage to our beautiful sous chef here, uh, Bentley. Yeah, go ahead. Please, no. Thanks. Don't. don't. Why? <laughs> don't kill himself. Why? What's wrong with giving him celery? I think dogs are supposed to eat celery. Are they not? It would really hurt sure them. That, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're like grapes. I think. What are you trying to do? Do you think it's easy for me? In one fell swoop. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> Everything went in. Everything went in. <laughs> the cup of grass. Onions. Onions take the least long to cook and they're the most hell to uh, cut, so... You don't really need that much onion for this soup, because onions are decently overpowering. I'm gonna guess like half one of these babies will do. First things first, right? You gotta make sure it's pure. Eh. Wow, man. Good catch. That's what we call a scratch catch. <laughs> yeah, don't use that hat, though, okay? You could run it under cold water, but that might take away some of the flavor. Hmm. We don't want that here. Flavor is what's important. Get this in focus. Yeah. Flavor is what- oh, fuck my eyes. Hey, we're cool. <laughs> All right. All right, Drew asked a very important question earlier. Why do you need to use my kitchen? But he also asked, why did you cut the onion this way? I wanna... Look at that. Look at that. It's like a... It's like a newborn infant. We're cool. Sorry? God, it stings. It burns with the force of a thousand suns. You've cut it like twice. Yes. I'm very susceptible. So again, on vegetables, they're not really needed in poor person soup, but uh, it's nice to give it that uh, that flavor and really just solidify that there is nutritional value in this. Hey, you want me to take over? No. I, I have to do this. <laughs> All right, man. Make sure you do... Yeah, okay, I got this. I got this. <laughs> oh, sweet Mary, what I got. You can see parts of the middle that uh, Paul didn't quite cut correctly. Oh, my eyes! <laughs> Do you fucking leave! <laughs> A true chef comes prepared. This is soup! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Oh, what's wrong, bitch baby? Not as easy as it looks, huh? You getting mm -hmm. bad in the eye? No, I just dropped some onion. You were blinking I, I, pretty rapidly. And I feel bad about it. Uh, I feel bad about wasting that onion. Yeah, it's it's, not, it's never wasted. Oh. 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 Now I feel sorry for you. We washed this. Shut up! Yeah, quick cutaway. You guys want to see into the private life of Drew? On the 29th. Drew's putting a party. It burns eating onions. So how uh, I small... never thought I could get another shot at true love what? Alright, tag out. I got this. I'm gonna complete this, okay? <laughs> I, I have to do this! Alright, Daryl has to do this. Oh my fuck. <laughs> do you like this, huh? Do you like looking at my pain? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the real money shop. Working in a kitchen, seeing you guys cut vegetables is very painful for me. What? The guy that worked in a kitchen before isn't cutting the fucking vegetables? I offered. Did you? Yeah. Yo, Luke, cut back to that point when that happened. Wow! <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do, you may notice we're working with soup here. <laughs> Alright, you want to occasionally, you occasionally want to test to make sure that the, uh, that the carrots are, uh, are mushy enough, so you just sort of like, it's hot. It's so hot. Oh. <laughs> now, celery is still green. Usually, if it's cooked, I'd say, like, decently thoroughly, you're going to notice a little bit of a light green sort of thing. Right now, it's got a kind of a moss green, forest green kind of thing going on. Oh. In the heat of the soup. It's like In the Heat of the Night, starring Elton John. Uh, but different. Oh, that's painful. Oh, my hand. Put it in oh. your mouth. That's not gonna make it better. Put it in your mouth! Oh, is this a dare? What are we in? I triple school? dog dare you. Alright, fine. Ow. 
Now the celery is quite not quite ready yet. How are we looking there, sous chef Daryl? Oh, ready. oh, yeah. The the eyes hurt now. It's all right. Jesus, you look like you just lost a relative. <laughs> it's that onion that I dropped earlier, man. I just how could I let that happen? We've made sacrifices to make poor person soup, but this is poor person soup tier two, right? It's tier two. You get all the... There's a lot of onion, man. Should have maybe done a quarter. You good? I'm good, man. I'm good. You keep on going. <laughs> Uncle Daryl's gonna take a briggity break. <laughs> Alright. Daryl's out of commission. He gave up his life for the cause. Think about that next time you drink your soup. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Wait. We're both crying. Let's have a bro hug moment. <laughs> Yeah, be sensitive. Daryl, I know things have been tough between us, but I just want to let you know, somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. You know, I never stop loving you, man. Don't let go. Don't I won't let go me. until it turns gay. <laughs> Whoop! Well, boner alert. All right, let's back. <laughs> Can I just draw attention to how many fucking onions are in this soup? Yeah, please. <laughs> you thought it was too much celery. You nope. ain't seen nothing yet. Alright, so this is gonna be very onion-heavy, poor person soup, because we used half an onion. Good news! You only need to use a quarter of this. You also don't need to cut it this way, according to Drew. You see, the great thing about poor person soup is that look how many veggie leftovers we have. That's all potential poor person soups. Okay? Let me do the maths on this. That onion, two bucks. That celery, two fifty. That bag of carrots, two bucks. Altogether, if we were using this optimally, we could have made at the very least four soups, and then probably several more without onions. And if we then take into account that this for a pack of six, <laughs> nice. Poor person soup costs like less than a buck per poor person soup to make. And look at how much we're making, too. That's more than one person's uh, portion. Invite all your poor friends! Where's the good camera person? Look! That means I need an extra pot. Allergy break! Daryl is a weak bitch, and he's allergic to lactose. Uh, lactose intolerant, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, sous chef Drew over here is gonna get an extra little pot and eat... Jesus. And he's gonna pour a little bit of the soup out and give it to Daryl. Give him lots of onions. Mm. Daryl likes onions. He does. All right, let's go in the warm zone. Now, let's go with the milk. Melt? You're a melt. That hurt me deeply. Shit, I accidentally turned ah, off the Jesus. dual element. Gonna make me burn my hand. Don't worry, I'm gonna make you burn your soup. That's also not good. Daryl's soup is gonna take a little bit of time to warm up. But in the meantime, let's get on to the main event. <laughs> Poor person soup, tier three. You ever think to yourself, man, this soup is good, but what if I add butter? <laughs> Do that. All right, so first things first. I completely guessed where the butter knives are. Drew hid them from me after I told him that I was sick of seeing my own face in the mirror. Mm. Alright, you don't need to wash your butter. It's already chemical free. Zero chemicals in butter. Wow. See, I'm learning. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Well, you don't eat a lot of butter, so... Everything's chemicals. What about the chemical lactose? No. Anyway, so... You take a butter, right? You don't even need to measure it. It's about yay big. So this... what, is, what does the butter do? Like... Okay, the butter really brings the flavor together because it brings out the creaminess. Because the butter, there's a little bit of it that just sort of like rises to the top and you just stir it in over and over again. And then after that, uh, Flavor Town. Right, where's the... Yeah! Alright. Butter, right? Say it with me now. Oh. Say it with me now. Oh. Right? That's the reason they call me Chef Tweed. Now, the butter, you may notice, has disappeared. Don't panic. It's just melted. <laughs> His soup doesn't have butter.
Look at that. A veritable Sophie's choice of uh, edible arrangements so I can tell what's good and what's not. It's a really sad movie. Alright. First things first. The carrot. <sighs> you know what's really hot? Daryl. <laughs> Celery. A little bit readier. A little bit readier. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. A little bit readier. Onion. Ooh. Onion doesn't take that long to cook and boil. Mm -hmm. Now that we've got the butter in there, that really brings the flavor together because suddenly, especially because it's salted butter with this particular stock, it actually does really good things. So look at that. Salted butter isn't completely useless. It's a Doctor Who theme. That's actually pretty fucking edible. Yeah. Like the butter actually adds a lot of really nice stuff to it. Mm hmm. Right? Damn. Right? This is poor person soup. Yeah, that's some good soup. Huh? I mean, it basically just tastes like butter, but I like butter, so that's good. Does it only taste like butter? Do I you? mean, it tastes mostly like butter. That's fair. Well, if it only tastes mostly like butter, you know what that means. <laughs> no. We failed. Right? Tracking shot. Now you may notice the butter's immediately gone. Don't worry, it's just melted. It's a cold bag. We're not putting any more butter in, don't you worry. And if we do, I'm getting a new butter knife. Still have half an onion left. Here's something that I personally like about my uh, soups. I like, um, a certain culture called the Portuguese, right? And uh, we're gonna season our soup the way they do. Not at all. Just kidding. Let's do it Italian style. You know what I'm saying? So I personally like fresh ground pepper, but uh, Drew is a uh, soy boy, so uh, we don't have any of that. What's like a stupid, outdated term? Cuck. I don't want to say cuck on this fucking show. You just did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I don't really care about too much about portion control. If you care about like the time to oregano ratio, first of all, zoom in, get a life. And zoom in again. But second of all, then you can get your own uh, like little assortment. But I like to use the assortment jammy jam, right? A little bit, one, two, three times a dad, and four for good measure, right? Then the pepper. That's not even open. <laughs> Big red market. Some people think that I don't know my food, but I beg to differ. Rubbed oregano. It's better than oregano, because it's rubbed. Garlic powder can really fucking easily overpower a dish. You gotta be careful. Daryl likes a little bit extra oregano in the soup that he's not eating. <laughs> Speaking That's of true. which, do you want to season your soup, Daryl? I, I want to forbid Daryl from seasoning his soup. <laughs> Just because... It's really boiling. Look at this. I think I might want to turn this down. Turn it down a little bit. Why'd you turn it to high, uh, Drew? I didn't touch it. Again, garlic powder can really easily overpower a dish. You don't want too much. You just want a wee little bit to really spice up your uh, your life. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. It's a metaphor. That's actually pretty damn good. May I partake in the body of Christ? You. Step forth, my son, but after you, if Pastor John has had some. Yep, that is good. Alright, take the label. It's it's gonna burn. I don't want... <laughs> you see? Dumbass! It's good soup. I offered for you to ha get the label. Here, take the rest of it in his face. I'm not sure if I want to put that back in the pot now. It's boiling water, it's fine. What do you think about it, Drew? It tastes pretty good, and uh, the vegetable definitely adds more flavor to it. Yeah, yeah. A little stir. Mm -hmm. This is called poor person soup, not garlic overpowering soup. Camera off me. <laughs> the greatest thing about poor person soup is that it's amateur by nature. 
I don't set time limits for how long it boils, just as long as it takes, you know? Just as long as it takes, you know? Alright? So oh, baby, why is it made of metal? Uh, let's get a little bit longer for the celery. Lesson for the future. The celery actually takes longer to cook than the carrots. Probably should have put that one in first. Um, if I were to do it again, yes, but it's still good. It's just gonna have slightly crunchier celery, and I personally Ooh. prefer the, uh... I prefer the soft. Celery's, uh, in my opinion, not meant to be mushy. Okay. So. Well, in that case, you and your outdated religious beliefs... Um... All right, here we go. Get the get the bowls ready, Drew. I'm gonna put the butter away. All right, let me walk through the camera shot. All right, let me walk That's back. Good. Fridge ain't over here. Here we go. Three bowls. Daryl doesn't get to eat. Drew arbitrarily decided that. Fine. Daryl can have the, the the bigger bowl since he's a big boy. All right. Little known fact. Daryl's old. You go ahead. Yeah, please rebut me. Rebut me. I, I can't. Why not? It's true. Yeah. I'm the oldest in the group. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is some David Lynch. Oh. Come on, get real. Mulholland Drive. All right. The most important part is the serving. You want to make sure that everything is done with precision. A little bit of carrot shading fell out of there. All right. Those are all the vegetables I need. Source of veggies. I cook that. Poor person soup. I make that. Daryl's dad. I take that. It's soup. What other improv troupe do you know that serves soup? In case you didn't know, you can check us out with our improv shows at facebook.com slash afterschoolarcade. We also do those sorts of things. We also have a podcast called Credit Zero. That's credit colon zero. It's on the screen now, and uh, it's available on podcasting platforms everywhere, as well as SoundCloud. Just look us up at After School Arcade. Two words, After School Arcade, Credit Zero. That's poor person soup. Let's go to now to our taste testers. Uh, for an examination. I'm gonna try this soup now. It's mostly onion, but delicious. I'm gonna try some of this soup. Tastes like church. Is that a good thing? Oh, crikey! <laughs> I'm gonna have some of this poor person's soup! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> mm. That's some good stuff! <laughs> Gotta eat your veggies, kids! Hey, sport! You ready to try some of this poor person soup? Just like your mom made. <laughs> oh, you're right, it does taste a little like butter. But this is really good, actually. This is like some of my best, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> wow, kid. Sure can taste the vegetables. And you're saying that I can make a pot of this soup that serves Four plus people for probably less than two dollars a serving? That's not bad! Three, two, one. That's, That's not bad! bad. Three, two, one. That's, That's not, not bad! bad. <laughs> I am ready. Go ahead. It's like a POV porno. Sorry. Step bro. <laughs> 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 right. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm gonna sing Cher Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> but Cher Lloyd. <laughs>